I'm David Howard from York, and we're currently at the Dharma Centre in London to look at beatboxing. Let's look briefly at what the human instrument offers to the beatboxer, because the human vocal instrument is the same for all of us. We've all got what is basically a buzzer sounding something like this in our throat. This is the vibrating vocal folds in the larynx. And I can show you that this works roughly as a larynx by substituting it for my own larynx. I'm telling you who I am. So my name is David Howard. So this can substitute for the larynx, and it just reminds us that in normal speech and singing, we just have a buzzer. And the buzzer in the neck is playing into a tube, the mouth tube, and sometimes coupled into it the nose tube. But to illustrate the tubes, I have here two acrylic tubes. The lower ones for the vowel R and the upper ones for the vowel E. And you can see the big difference for E. The tube is very constricted towards the lip end, whereas the R is very open. So let's just confirm that these are indeed the vowels. And therefore it's quite interesting to note that for speech or singing, or indeed beatboxing, all these guys have to play with is a buzzer and a tube. We're going to be monitoring two things. The first is what the vocal folds in the larynx are actually doing. And this is done electrically with two small electrodes that go around the outside of the neck with a band that holds them onto the neck. The other signal we'll be picking up is from a small microphone which is clipped onto this wire. And the output from that will let us see approximately what each of your ears is sending your brain as you listen to this sound. The beats, just do that first thing you did, are these two vertical lines. Because one of the things that that or sound, which are the constants in English do, is create energy at all frequencies in a vertical line. So they're very clearly identified. And you can also, of course, understand why the ear can pick them out so well. And if we move on a bit to where the rhythm became a little bit more involved, here we go, you can now see the regularity in the rhythm, which, of course, underpins all types of music, but particularly beatboxing, anything with a drum beat, has a regular structure. So these are the short sounds, and this one, which is longer, stretched out, that's the, I think it was a... Wasn't it something like so there's the, the beginning, followed by a long S sound, as in Freddy. What other sounds can we make? Um, well, there's the crab scratch, which is, it works kind of like the Did opposite. crab of scratch? Yeah. Right, okay, let's have a look at that. That long sound is evident here. There's an interesting thing going on here. That uh, descending pitch, which is noise based, is there, and indeed it's on the next one too, because you can see a descending pitch there. So, somewhere in your um, cavity, and I guess it's where your finger is, you're changing the size of the cavity, because if you change the cavity size, you'll change its acoustic properties in that way. Now, that, that is really quite extraordinary because those sounds which I think are putting your larynx high and then moving the larynx down so what you're doing is instead of creating an airstream from the lungs coming out you're creating an airstream by having an air column between the lungs and the mouth moving the larynx up and simply moving the larynx down on this column of air so you're creating your own airflow that way so so I think he's coming from that yeah, and interestingly you can see those dropping pitches very rapidly dropping pitches which you can hear as well. And there they are, very regularly set up down about, what, 240 going down to about 120. So it's, it's not to drop that um, shooting downwards, but you're able to repeat it with actually quite remarkable agility. So what can we conclude? Well, we must remember that we've got a tube and a buzzer. This is all they have available to them. The buzzer gives you the opportunity to pitch things your trumpet sounds in particular and some of those other bass sounds but the tube is being used in a most remarkable set of ways which are most unspeech-like 
So a lot of the use of the front of the mouth is not using shapes that we would use when we speak. But the real thing, I think, that singles beatboxing out from anything we do vocally, normally, is the speed at which these changes are made and the really tight rhythm that's adopted to get these musical sounds going in a way that makes you want to get up and dance. 